If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. If you had just waited for me to explain before telling Beast. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the Queen. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <sighs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. 
Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Cohen, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney? So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were- I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have, like, a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, about that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, I'm not saying it was a good day. Just that we could have done without all the, uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think- I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is- just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. 
We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself, to justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay. At the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs! Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. You give favors all the time. I know you do. Yeah. Well, I think I ran out.
Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, the pudding and pie. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? You mind if I just... No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please... don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. 
Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. What are you worried about? Just... please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. I handled it. She couldn't talk because of the magic, but we managed to understand each other. I did my job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? Because you have given me reason to doubt you. You didn't see any blood, did you? Big B, that's not I was I... perfectly fucking professional. She and I had as good a conversation as we could, given the circumstances. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, me. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a hop. I'm... I'm through talking anyway. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? <sighs> What's this about? Well... I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, no, it's... it's fine. What do you want? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself for keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Beauty? Who is it? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right?
Bigby's here. Hi, Bigby. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, Beauty, let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Do we really need to bring Bigby into this? We've talked about it already. But I... I just don't think he's going to improve our situation. Well, that's what we're going mm. to find out. Talk about living in the no past. I agree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. Whatever. It's not just that. Trouble follows him around. We're out of money and we're up against the wall here, okay? So can we finish this later? Now that Bigby's here, let's just... Fine. Go on. Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. He's the sheriff, not an interior decorator. I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the Crooked Man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... Bigby, don't leave! Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I should... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> Are you gonna get that? And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... What the fuck was that? It was nothing. Probably just a telemarketer, you know? I hate those things. You do know I'm on a murder case, don't you? And as far as I'm concerned, wasting my time is an obstruction of justice. You want me to arrest you? No, Bigby, of course not. We've been getting threatening phone calls. Collectors for the Crooked Man. We owe a lot of money. We aren't safe, Bigby. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. 
I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Look, you don't have to explain yourself to me. But I'm not going there for a shopping trip. This is murder and kidnapping we're talking about. And if the axe was there, so were the people behind all this. Anything else is just background noise. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. The Lucky... I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing.
It's dirty. Mileage note. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? What? Bigby's here. Ah, uh, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Hey, wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place, what do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat, I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witch's didn't charge so fucking much... Give me a break, Toad. This is your own damn fault. You buy a car, but you don't save money for this? And what happened to that car, right? Huh? Let's talk about that. Smashed to a tin can because you had to play rough with a woodsman. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be. Since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Just do what I fucking say, alright? Leave the coat, find another way. Fine, I'm leaving. But I'm taking the coat with me. Toad... If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by any time. Believe me, Toad. You can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. Came to gloat? Since you had to go and tell on me, I got eight weeks' work detail from Snow. She has me fixing leaky pipes. Like I even know what a C-clamp is. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho, and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, alright? Can't you Shut just... Shut up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. I 
thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't- Jax was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just- Jersey, don't- don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna- That's my fucking system. But you- you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is are you... His ex even here. Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you, I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? Until I give you permission. You're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna- <clears throat> You piece of shit! Oh. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> That's it? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go... Ah! You... Oh, motherfucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve.
Again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Ah, useless bitch, Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your... Fucking wrecking crew act of the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. I'll come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. Oh! Oh, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? Fresh out. I should've hit you with this thing. brand anyway. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Believe me. That's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right. Go do it, then.
Bigby Wharf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? You need to listen to me. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here, so you need to start fucking cooperating right now. I am. Because you know Jersey, uh, you know Jersey, right? Yeah, he, he runs the pawn shop. Yeah, that's right. He wasn't very cooperative when I went there, and that turned out to be a big fucking problem for him. I'm cooperating, I swear. Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror, Mary had Crane, and she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. Back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? Sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> You, you, you're a monster, a fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. And I don't want to know. 
Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But then... Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They've muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. This what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? What the hell is that? No, this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. The 
time for traveler's checks, huh? You won't be needing this anymore. Sick piece of... The Shard. It's the Shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives? Don't play innocent with me, Butcher. You screwed with me up front. Don't cry foul, cause you got it in the end. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. If I were you, I'd run. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All right. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clean. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? 
Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toast. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Wouldn't you know it? Colin is going to the farm. Well, I would say each case deserves to be decided on its own uh, merits, don't you think? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. His old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Hey, you've been out of glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. There's a truck leaving tomorrow. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, the damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Will and Smith can see to that, at the farm. You're a real friend of the people, Sheriff. What a crook of shite. A government by the fables for the fables, my arse. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. Guys like the crooked man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in, or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Poetry isn't part of my job description. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but... That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, 
Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. What? I know this isn't a social call, but I'm just watching the door here. Then again, I guess I don't know what else I should have expected. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm... Not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. I don't need you to hold my hand. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... he's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I don't have time for this. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Am I some kind of fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. What the fuck? Holy shit! I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. 
I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't wait. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Thank you. 